comes, here comes Speed Racer, he's a demon on wheels. He's a demon and he's gonna be chasing after someone. He's gaining on you, so you better look alive. He's busy revving up the powerful Mach 5. And when the odds are against him and there's dangerous work to do, Bet your life's eraser, you'll see it through. Go speed racer, go speed racer, go speed racer, go! He's often flying as he guns a car around the track. He's jamming down the pedal like he's never coming back. Adventure's waiting just ahead! Go speed racer, go speed racer, go speed racer, go! surviving members of the car acrobatic team meet high in the Bavarian Alps as their leader addresses them. It was exactly one year ago that Speed Racer and his Mach 5 defeated us. We swore that someday we would get our revenge. That time is almost at hand. We will race against Speed Racer again. And this time we will not only defeat him, we will destroy him. <laughs> We shall challenge Speed to our race, and he will accept the challenge. That will be our opportunity. Then, once again, we, the great car acrobatic team, will be recognized as the greatest racers in the world! The story really begins a year ago when I was driving in the Alpine race against teams from all over the world. It was a grueling race over treacherous mountain trails. And because of their skill and their unique cars, my closest competitors were members of the car acrobatic team. took advantage of every fair opportunity to pull into the lead. It was dangerous on that ice. Seeing the car acrobatic team in action was an unforgettable sight, but Racer X warned me about them. Don't race against them. To win, they'll stop at nothing. Many racers were knocked out of the race, and Racer X and I barely managed to cross the finish line. The car acrobatic team suffered heavy losses, and it was then that their leader vowed vengeance. You have beaten us, Speed Racer, but I solemnly swear you will pay for our defeat. We shall meet again someday, and when we do, we shall not only defeat you, but you will be destroyed. Now it is late at night, and Speed is dreaming. <sighs> Do you remember that race of a year ago, Speed? Think back and remember it well. How could you forget, eh? We will race you again, soon, over the same treacherous trails, across the same yawning chasms, over the same brinks of disaster, and we will beat you. <laughs>
car acrobatic team challenges me to a race, huh? Okay. As he drives through the rainy night, Speed is filled with memories of the first time he saw the spectacular car acrobatic team. And he begins to have second thoughts about meeting their challenge for another race. He thinks that perhaps this time the team will prove too powerful and too tricky for him. Perhaps this time his luck will run out. The more he remembers, the more worried he becomes. Now, Speed is more determined than ever to meet the challenge of the car acrobatic team. Oh! Racer X! Speed, a race is not a fight. Don't accept the challenge of the car acrobats. How'd you find out about the race, Racer X? Never mind. You're a professional racer, and a professional racer doesn't fight, he races. And he doesn't hold private grudge races. Go home and forget about a grudge race against the car acrobatic team. I can't. They'll think I'm afraid to accept their challenge to another race. They'll think I can't beat them again. Now get out of the way! Speed, don't be a fool. Speed! Mm, a fine thing for me to catch a cold the day before an important race. You've got to stay in bed, Pops. You're running a very high fever. Mm. I wish my oldest son Rex were here. I wonder where he is now. If only he hadn't disobeyed me years ago and entered that race. That was when all the trouble started. He was too young, too inexperienced to compete against the professional racing drivers. There's the flag. I win. the car! Is he hurt? Rex! Oh, Rex, are you all right? <clears throat> yes, Pops, I am. I'm so glad you weren't hurt, Rex. I would have won if I hadn't skidded. I deserve to be the winner. I was ahead all the way. Well, I'm going to continue racing, and someday I'll be the champion of the world. You're much too young yet. I forbid you to be a professional racer till you're older and have more experience behind the wheel. You can't stop me from racing. Pops is in my blood, and I'm going to continue doing it. You'll do what I say, and I forbid you to do any more racing until you're grown up. Pops, no matter what you say, I'm going to continue being a professional racer. That's no way to talk to your own father. I forbid you to race right now, and that's final. Then I'm sorry, Pops. You give me no choice but to run away from home. Goodbye, Pops. Rex, don't be a fool. All I'm asking is that you wait a few more years until you've gained experience. All right, if you feel that way, then stay away. I hope Rex comes home someday. As you know, the international secret police have been smashing our secret branch offices. We've discovered that one man is behind the disasters. Our secret international organization has been suffering. Let us now study a few films of him. The secret agent goes under the not-secret name of Racer X. Some of our best brains and top agents proved no match for Racer X, as time and again he and his friends out-tricked and out-fought them. As you can see, Mr. Supremo, we face the greatest threat since our secret espionage and anarchistic organization was founded. We cannot underestimate the threat to our future posed by this one man. You are witnessing Racer X in action. This secret film was filmed secretly as Racer X confronted two of our top agents, the leaders of one of our main branches. Now observe carefully the skill with which Racer X defeated a whole company of our most vicious and diabolical fighters. Part of the report will be made by our agent from Hong Kong. 
We were under orders to assassinate a princess from an oil-rich country. Everything went according to plan, and the assassination was about to take place. But Razor X was in Hong Kong, disguised as a businessman. The assassination attempt failed, and our Hong Kong branch was forced to close down. Razor X business was to put us out of business, and he did. I've heard enough. Your report is about nothing but failure, failure, failure. What have you people been doing to get rid of Racer X, huh? Everything we can, sir, but watch carefully. There's more to our report. Racer X is not the only one who has caused us trouble. A great many of our agents have been defeated by this young man. Who? Who is he? A professional racer, one of the best, by the name of Speed Racer. He drives a powerful, specially designed and built car called the Mach 5. Here you see film clips of the Great Alpine Race, where he competed against the car acrobatic team, among others. You will see and learn something fascinating. Watch closely. I'm watching, I'm watching. And there you are, Speed Racer and Racer X racing side by side. So they competed against each other in the same race. So what? But, Mr. Supremo, we've discovered that Racer X is secretly Speed Racer's older brother, Rex Racer, who ran away from home years ago. What? It's true, and not even Speed Racer knows Racer X is his brother. That's astounding. But are you sure it's true? Compare their photographs. See the resemblance for yourself. So you have been busy after all. A magnificent job. Our next step is to get rid of Racer X forever. This is the car acrobatic team. And now that they will again race against speed, we're certain that Racer X will also be around. He knows that the car acrobats are out for revenge, and he'll want to protect his younger brother, Speed. That will give us the opportunity we've been looking for. We will take care of Racer X permanently. And what about Speed? Why worry about him? Without Racer X to protect him, he'll be an easy target for the car acrobats, and they'll take care of him for us. All we have to do is concentrate on getting Racer X. Very clever, Mr. Magneto. You've got everything worked out excellently. <laughs> now, sir, I suggest we put the plan into effect. We've been waiting for you, Speed. As you can see, we accepted your letter challenging us to one more race, and this time you will lose. Lose badly! Wait! What do you mean, my letter challenging you? I got a letter from you challenging me to one more race. That's why I'm here. I accept the challenge, and I'm going to win this time, too. No, you won't. We are the greatest racers in the world, and this time we'll prove it. You failed to prove it the last time we met, and you'll fail again. I'm warning you, I'm going to win. We'll see. Come on, Speed, let's go! Secretly, Speed's older brother races nearby as the spy syndicate planned. <laughs> well, we've been waiting for you, Racer X, or should I say Rex Racer, the international secret agent? What's the idea of stopping me? Eh, very sorry, but this was the only way we could trap you, and now we're going to get rid of you forever. You'll never interfere with us again. 
after him. And what's the name of your organization? Come on, tell me. I'm with International Spies Incorporated, and we want to get rid of you and your brother. What's that? You're trying to get rid of my brother, Speed? Right. We set time bombs on all of the car acrobatic team's cars. If they surround Speed, that'll be the end of your brother. <laughs> One good shot and it'll be the end of Rex Racer. <laughs> A bullseye! Now we'll never interfere with our plans again. Okay, another successful mission. Now let's report the news to Supremo. <laughs> this road is so narrow he can't pass us and pull into the lead. What's the idea of blocking the road? Can't you see we're in the middle of a race? Get your car out of the way! Wait a minute, that man's Racer X! You've got to stop the race immediately. There are time bombs planted in every one of your cars. Time bombs? What are you talking about? Racer X, what's the matter with you? You've been hurt. Huh? Racer X is hurt? Don't worry, I'll be all right. I found out that the challenging letters you each got were phonies. You didn't write them to each other. Well, all I know is that I didn't write a letter to Speed challenging him to a race. I got one from him. But I didn't write it. Both those phony letters were sent by the international spies to trick me into coming here. They want to get rid of me. This means you need help, Racer X. Speed, let's call off this race and help him. What do you say? Good idea. I'm all for it. And we'll race against each other some other time. Come on, let's try to find the spies. Don't forget the time bombs. They were planted in your cars, and they're timed to go off within the next hour. Keep away from your cars. Uh, we've got to use our cars right now. We'll have to chance it that the bombs won't go off for a while yet. Do you know where the spy headquarters is? Yes. We'd never be able to find it in a hurry. We'll need you to show us the way. Are you strong enough to do that? Mm-hmm. Good. We'll use my car. We'll take their own time bombs back to them and give them a taste of their own medicine. Racer, eh? Excellent. Thanks, and as for Speed Racer, he's as good as taken care of, too. The time bombs are scheduled to go off at sunrise. Sunrise, eh? That'll be at six o'clock. That means the bombs will go off in only 20 more minutes. I can hardly wait. Faster! You've got to go faster! We don't have much time left! I hope we reach the Spice headquarters before those bombs go off. We've got to! Look, there it is. There's their hideout. As soon as we surround it, we'll get away from these cars. Abandon your cars! Run for your lives! What was that? Magneto, didn't you hear something just now? It's probably the wind howling through those mountains. Ah. Finished. Racer X, how can we thank you? If it hadn't been for you, our race with speed would have ended in disaster. We would have been blown up with our cars. Well, now at least we're rid of those spies. They won't be able to cause any more trouble in the countries of the world, and we can have peace. Uh -huh. Well, Speed, it looks as if the rest of your racing team has flown here in a helicopter to pick you up. Come on, we might as well get out of here. All right, Racer X. 
Speed, we'll meet again. And when we do, I wish you luck. When you meet again, I'm sure Speed will beat you again. That's what you think. Come on, let's go. Racer X. Mm. Are you my brother? Are you my brother, Rex Racer? <coughs> <coughs> You are his brother. I can see the resemblance even under that mask. I am. But even though I am his brother, I can't go home again. I'm giving up being a racer, and from now on, I'll be a full-time international secret agent without a name or country. Goodbye, Speed. I'll try to keep my eye on you and be nearby if you ever need help, no matter where you might go. Speedy! Speed! Speed! Speedy! Huh? The mask. I'm sure it belonged to my brother. Huh? But where is he? What happened to my brother, Rex? Rex! Rex! Where are you? Speed, what is it? Did you find Rex at last? There's no one there. Rex, wherever you are, I promise to try to be the best racer in the world and to make you proud of your younger brother. Goodbye, Rex. Be sure to see the next thrilling episode of Speed Racer. <laughs>